I'm a polymath, so I have a couple of different mediums that I enjoy working in, but the overarching theme is that it's all repurposed materials. All of this stuff is donated or salvaged or like the paint I found at the dump from the hazmat. <laughs> And so uh, taking materials out of the waste stream, even just a little bit, feels better to me than um, creating new stuff um, that is primarily for sale. It, so that's a big part of the, the praxis behind all of my work, the textiles, the painting, and um, the other things that I do. I sewed professionally for 10 years, and then I decided after working very tiny for a long time that I needed to make bigger work. So I started painting using house paint and backer board, and those paintings be got bigger and bigger. So uh, that was about six years ago that I began that part, the visual art side. I work in series, and some of it comes from an idea or something that I'm trying to express that is more abstract. Some of it is uh, based in nature. I do large insect paintings and my new series is called Macro Micro. So it's uh, microbiology, but larger images of that. I have some tardigrades I like. And then um, I also, Idaho is famous for its amazing landscapes, the mountains and the trees and the hot springs. But there is another side of Idaho that is severe the landscapes that go on forever, the fields and fields and fields of sagebrush and cheatgrass. And so um, my landscape paintings try to evoke that flat blue sky and distant mountains and haze that um, is an another beautiful part of this place that we live. Even if I'm aiming at a specific mountain range or a specific insect, really the method of mark making that I use is just a suggestion of color and shape. And uh, I'm telling you a story, and if you look at this painting and believe that story, then it's been a success. Part of the practice of making these paintings is the temporal quality. The method of mark making that I use cannot be replicated, so the image is created with that material in that moment, and it will never ever be the same again. Even if someone else used exactly the same materials side by side with me, their image would be different than my image because of the way the materials operate in those um, conditions. I stopped sewing for a long time, maybe four years, and reintegrating those pieces of myself, the younger version of myself, um, having the quiet and safety and space in my life to be able to practice that again has felt very important. And it's fairly new, just within the last 10 months or so, to be able to do the painting, the spinning, the sewing, all of the things that I'm interested in, the paperwork. Um, there's a lot that I want to touch and do, too many for this lifetime, but being able to integrate as much of it as I can feels it makes me a more whole person and I think it informs all of my art in a in a way that elevates it. This space is primarily a private space where I do my work of creation and most often there is no one here but myself and that is ideal for me for the kind of work that I do and the focus that I require to make the best version of this art. Um, I, I need that privacy and that solitude. But I also appreciate the opportunity to open my doors and have people come in so that I can get eyeballs on my stuff and put it out in the world and also um, articulate what I'm trying to do to practice saying what this stuff is and what it means and hopefully that will help uh, people to engage with it on a deeper level. Necessary, critical to ourselves as individuals to have some form of expression for our inner lives. And it doesn't matter what it is. It could be folding um, straw papers into squares. <laughs> if that's the method of creation and it helps you, that's so important. On a larger scale, we are undergoing a transformation culturally and on the planet. And I believe that individual expression of creativity working together as a web will elevate all of us so it is critically necessary to the next iteration of ourselves as, as humanity it's like as necessary to me as eating or breathing one way or another even when i'm an old woman i'll be um, i don't know dabbling in my mashed potatoes or something <laughs>